It's been six months since she left me. The ache in my heart, the gaping hole in my chest, the bitter taste in my mouth, they're all still there, constant reminders of the love I lost. I try to convince myself that I'm doing okay, that I've moved on. But the truth is, I haven't been able to sleep properly, my appetite has disappeared, and I can barely muster the energy to get out of bed in the mornings. I don't know how she could have done it. How could she have been so cruel? I can't help but wonder if she's having a better life without me. Did she find someone better? Someone who treats her right? The thought of her happiness makes my stomach turn. But then, there are moments when I catch a glimpse of her in the crowd, and my heart skips a beat. I can't help but remember the way she used to look at me, the way she used to laugh. And in those moments, I am reminded of the love we shared, the love that I still carry with me. It's been so hard, trying to rebuild my life without her. I've tried to distract myself with work, with friends, with hobbies. But nothing seems to fill the void that she left behind. I find myself daydreaming about the past, wishing for a second chance, wondering if I should forgive her. I know that it would be easy to just write her off, to say that she doesn't deserve another chance, but deep down, I can't help but hope that she'll come back to me, that she'll realize what she's lost, and that we can find a way to make things right. The thought of her being with someone else still hurts, even after all this time. I wonder what they must be like, to share her laughter, to hold her hand, to see the way her eyes light up when she's happy. It's a pain that I carry with me every day, like an invisible weight on my chest. But then, there are moments when I catch a glimpse of her across the room, or when I hear her voice on the phone, and it's as if time has stood still. In those fleeting instants, I am transported back to the way things used to be, and I can almost feel the warmth of her skin, the beat of her heart against mine. Later that night, I was at a party, just trying to be social, when I brushed shoulders with her. It was only for a moment, but it felt like an eternity. Her perfume, the way she laughed, the way she moved. It all came flooding back, and I found myself lost in memories. She looked different, but then again, it had been months since I'd last seen her. She saw me looking and approached with a smile on her face, as if nothing had ever happened. As if she hadn't taken everything from me. My heart, my trust, my faith in humanity. But I couldn't bring myself to hate her. I just wanted to understand. So I listened as she told me about her new life, her new boyfriend, her new everything. And as I listened, I realized that maybe, just maybe, I still loved her. But loving her meant letting her go, didn't it? It meant forgetting about the way her body fit against mine, the way her lips tasted, the way she whispered my name in the dark. It meant moving on, finding someone else who could love me the way I deserved. Except, as I stood there in that crowded room, I realized that I hadn't moved on. I was still in love with her, and I didn't know what to do about it. So, I made a decision. I would give her one more chance. I would take her back, not as my wife, but as my friend. I would help her find her way, just as she had helped me so many times before. I would be there for her, through thick and thin, just like I always had been. And maybe, just maybe, someday down the road, we could find our way back to each other. The next morning, I texted her, asking her to meet me for coffee. She responded eagerly, and before I knew it, we were sitting across from each other at our favorite little cafe. We talked for hours, about everything and nothing. We laughed, we cried, we shared our stories. It felt like old times, except different somehow. There was an understanding between us now, a connection that went deeper than our memories or our history together. As the sun began to set, I realized that I had made the right decision. I was glad that I had given her this chance, and I was hopeful for whatever the future might hold. And as we walked back to our separate cars, I took her hand in mine, not as a lover, but as a friend. Because that's all I could be now. And maybe, just maybe, that was enough. Unbeknownst to me, her new boyfriend had been watching us from across the street. His face had darkened as the evening wore on, his grip on his car door tightening with each word we exchanged. He couldn't understand why she would want to spend time with her ex-husband, why she would want to keep him in her life. And as he saw us walking hand in hand, a storm began to brew inside of him. The next day, he confronted her. His words were harsh, his tone accusatory. He demanded to know why she was still talking to me, why she was giving me a second chance when he had been nothing but good to her. She tried to explain, but her words fell on deaf ears. He couldn't see past his own jealousy, couldn't understand that our relationship was deeper than just the physical. Choose, he spat at her, his eyes boring into hers. Choose between him and me. I felt a pit form in my stomach as I heard his words. I knew that this confrontation was inevitable, but I had hoped that she would be strong enough to stand up to him. To show him that our friendship meant something. 
But as I saw the fear in her eyes, as I saw her struggle with the choice he had given her, I knew that it was up to me to make things right. So, I did the only thing I could think of. I sent her a text, telling her not to choose. That I understood why she was with him, and that I didn't want to stand in the way of their happiness. That maybe, someday, we could find our way back to each other. But for now, she deserved someone who could love her completely, without any lingering doubts or regrets. As I pressed send, I felt a weight lift off my shoulders. I knew that I had done the right thing, even if it hurt like hell. And as I waited for her response, I hoped that she would understand. That she would know that I would always be there for her, even if we weren't together. Because sometimes, love isn't about being together. Sometimes, it's about knowing when it's time to let go. Her reply came a few hours later, late at night when I was already in bed. It simply read, Thank you. Those two words carried more weight than any apology or declaration of love could have. They told me that she appreciated my understanding, my support, my friendship. And in that moment, I knew that I had made the right decision. The next day, I awoke to news that she had broken up with her boyfriend. I wasn't surprised, but I was glad. I knew that she would find her way back to happiness, and that one day, when the time was right, we would find our way back to each other. Until then, I would be there for her, as her friend, her confidant, her rock. Time passed, and we continued to grow apart and together. We built a new kind of relationship, one based on mutual respect and understanding. We talked about our new lives, our hopes and dreams, our fears and insecurities. We became each other's support system, our own little family. And as the years went by, I found myself falling in love with her all over again. But this time, it was different. It was deeper, stronger. One day, she looked at me and said, I think it's time we give this whole marriage thing another shot. And just like that, we were husband and wife again. But this time, it was different. It was better. We had grown up together, weathered the storms of life, and come out on the other side stronger than ever before. And as we stood at the altar, exchanging our vows, I couldn't help but think back to that day in the cafe, when I had given her one last chance. When I had given her the choice between me and her new love. Because without that choice, without the lessons we had learned and the growth we had experienced, we wouldn't be standing here today. We wouldn't be the couple we are now. And for that, I was grateful. Grateful for the journey that had brought us here. Grateful for the person she had become. And grateful for the love that we shared. Our wedding day was a beautiful celebration of our new beginning. A fresh start filled with hope and promise. Our friends and family surrounded us. Cheering us on as we embarked on this new adventure together. And as we danced our first dance as husband and wife. I could see the love we shared reflected in the eyes of everyone around us. In the years that followed, we built a life together filled with laughter, tears, joy, and sorrow. We faced our challenges head-on, never shying away from the tough conversations or the difficult decisions. We raised a beautiful family, filled our home with love and warmth, and traveled the world together. We grew old together, our wrinkles and gray hairs a testament to the lives we had lived and the love we had shared. But even as we aged, even as our bodies changed and our priorities shifted, one thing remained constant, our love for each other. It was a love that had endured through the test of time and the pressures of life, a love that had only grown stronger with each passing year. And as I lay in bed next to her, our hands entwined, I couldn't help but feel a sense of peace wash over me. A peace that came from knowing that I had given her the freedom to choose, and that in the end, she had chosen me. And as I drifted off to sleep, I knew that no matter what the future held, we would face it together. Because in this world filled with uncertainty and change, there was one thing I could always count on, the love we shared, the bond we had forged over the years, and the knowledge that we were each other's forever person.